Have you heard anything from the guys? Did they win? I hadn't heard anything. Nothing? Not a thing. Oh. Well, it's kind of quiet. We're the only ones here. Why are we here? Drinks? Hell yeah, let's go! What happened to Christine from Gas Monkey Garage? For a while, Christy was a part of Fast and Loud, and suddenly she stopped appearing. Did anything in particular happen to her, or was her disappearance just a nothing burger? Well, the answer to that question and what she's doing right now will definitely shock you. Fast and Loud was, for a while, one of the biggest car reality shows in the world. The show featured Richard Rawlings, the charismatic boss of the Gas Monkey Garage, and followed the adventures of his employees as they navigated the exciting world of restoring old classic cars. The rationale of the show is simple. Richard's job is to discover classic cars that could be worth a lot if they weren't run down. Once Richard discovers these hidden gems, the job of the crew would be to fix them up and turn them over for a profit. The show itself was pretty unique in the world of reality TV, as it often incorporated skits into larger episodes. However, it also had all the other elements of reality TV that made it interesting. For example, fans of the show would know that in every single episode, it's a norm for something to go wrong at the worst possible time. Like most reality TV shows, a lot of Fast and Loud was scripted. In most cases, the crew did not have to beat extraordinary deadlines. They often had months to work on a particular project. That is why the crew members always seem to avoid catastrophe at the last minute. It's not because they're particularly lucky, it's because there was no catastrophe to avoid in the first instance. Interestingly, that was not the only secret thing about the show. A lot of times, Richard makes outrageous claims just for cinematic value. For example, he once said he had discovered the automotive holy grail. This holy grail was two prototype Pontiac Firebirds, and he claimed that the cars were worth over $300,000 each. Of course, that would have been extraordinary. However, those cars were sold for a mere $30,000 on eBay a year later. And lastly, Richard, who is known for his incredible spontaneousness, is not that spontaneous in real life. Many times on the show, he would approach a car owner and just purchase their vehicles on the spot. That makes for great TV, but is certainly not plausible. Think about it. Imagine you had a classic car with great sentimental value worth thousands of dollars. Imagine you're just cleaning it up or something. Now, imagine some guy in a magnificent beard walking up to you with an entire camera crew. Now, finally, imagine him trying to hand you a wad of cash to sell your car. There's probably a medium to great chance that you would tell him to find interest in some rocks and kick them, but Richard does this all the time, and most times he gets a great deal and buys the car. So how does he do it? Or does he even do it? The thing is that most of those scenes are staged. The seller of the car already knows Richard is coming, and they most likely have already agreed on the price of the cars to be sold for. The rest of it just shows business. However, sometimes, even show business can get a little bit too much and too difficult to keep up with. That was precisely what happened to Christine, a member of the Fast and Loud cast in 2016. Before then, Christy had been working in Gas Monkey Garage as an office manager. However, because of the nature of her job, she was often called a zookeeper. That was, she was essentially the only female HR personnel in the garage tasked with keeping the crew in line. As a zookeeper, she had to ensure that the boys met all their deadlines. She also had to put out brewing disagreements that were likely to lead to huge fights. And lastly, she had to put up with tons and tons of insensitive comments. But she managed to do all of that very well. This didn't come as any surprise to Richard, as the main reason he gave her the job was because he knew she had very tough skin and would work in the gas monkey environment. Here's the thing. When Richard was looking for a zookeeper to keep the garage in check, he confided in his barber. His barber was Darren Brimberry, a hotshot hairstylist in Texas who owns two salons. Darren told Richard that he needed a firm and empowered woman who could balance the masculine excesses of the shop. He also told him that Christine was the absolute best person to do that, and that got her hired straight away. Richard is a client of my husband. My husband does hair, and he came in and asked my husband if I could come to work for him. So what happened in 2016? Well, in 2016, Chrissy underwent surgery to remove a cancerous lymph node from her thyroid. After the operation, she shared the troubling news with her fans on her Facebook page. She also urged followers to get themselves checked and not ignore any troubling health signs. 
While the procedure was mostly successful, it had its issues. For one, Christy's voice box was badly damaged by it. That meant that she had to get a tube in her throat and had to stay away from all kinds of work for about 6 months. And yes, this meant she also had to stay away from Gas Monkey Garage. To make things even more difficult for her, Chrissy had to undergo extensive chemotherapy before she could have the surgery. Thankfully, everything worked out and the following year she announced that she was now totally cancer free. Even the Gas Monkey Garage official Facebook page congratulated her on beating cancer. So it was pretty clear that everyone was right with everyone. The people on the show loved her and she loved them right back. Ideally, that would mean she could go back to the show whenever she wanted, right? Well, not so fast. Sadly, Christine's health problems meant that she could not go back to working with Fast and Loud for a long time. Thankfully, her fans got some good news when she promoted the 15th season of the show. At the time, people believed that she would be making her grand return on the show, but when the 15th season eventually got out, many people got the shock of a lifetime. She wasn't in the season. Now, we don't know exactly why she didn't make the season even though she promoted it. However, if we are to guess, we'd probably say it's because she was not available for filming because of her illness. In any case, the 15th season of Fast and Loud was its last season. Richard Rawlings himself revealed that to Joe Rogan on his podcast. Everybody hold on to your hat out there. Fast and Loud is no more. <gasps> uh, I have exited Discovery and uh, I'm a free agent. Discovery Channel had let him go and had released him from his contract. This, of course, meant that they had also let the entire Gas Monkey Garage go too. Richard told Rogan that he'd reached the apex of his career at Discovery Channel and there was nowhere else for him to grow. To us, that kind of meant that there was no room for growth on Discovery Channel. Richard also told Rogan that the cancellation of Fast and Loud by Discovery Channel didn't mean the show had ended. According to him, it was a mere fork in the road and the show is going to return grandly. Unfortunately, that has not yet materialized. So, will there be a new Fast and Loud in the future? We have absolutely no idea, and we guess most of the crew have no idea either. Yes, Richard Rawlings said that Fast and Loud was not dead yet, but he said that two years ago, and if there was going to be a new season, we should have heard of it by now. At the time of making this video, we've heard nothing at all from anywhere. So it's either Richard is working on some mega super plan to bring back Fast and Loud, or the plan to bring the show back failed. No matter what it is though, we will always be glad that the show gave us 15 pure seasons of unreal entertainment. So what about Christine? What happened to her after the show ended? Well, we didn't hear a lot about her until September 2021 when she joined OnlyFans. While OnlyFans is popular for being a platform for sex workers to share content with their fans, it's also a platform for popular people to share updates about their life. Well, for Christine, it's a little bit of both. While she certainly doesn't post any explicit videos, she does post some raunchy undressed images. So technically, she isn't an adult star as she's yet to appear on any adult site or in any adult videos. However, she has extremely revealing pictures you have to pay about $10 per month to see. According to her OnlyFans bio, she used to be that girl from that show, but now she's the girl from that website. And by that website, she means OnlyFans. Interestingly, it appears that she's still married to her husband, Darren Brimberry. So whatever she's doing on OnlyFans has his blessings or at least he's not angry enough at it to seek a divorce, which again, is quite interesting. But as they say, different strokes for different folks. We are on the outside and frankly speaking, we have very little information about what's going on with the Brimberries. We can only wish them all the luck in the world.